Today I just wanted to do a really quick tutorial on in Cricut Design Space showing how I use some of the different tools that are available to take images from that are available in Design Space through Cricut Access as well as text and shapes to create my own unique designs and just how just to show how easy that is. So this is the design that I'm going to make. I made it to use on some t-shirts for the 4th of July, but it could be used on a lot of different things. But this is the design that I came up with. This was kind of the idea that I had in mind, but it's not something that by itself is available. So I was going to make it myself. So I'm going to come in, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to open a new project. And I'm going to show you step by step how I went from pieces that were what I wanted to make the entire design that I wanted. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into images. And I wanted to find a shape, the shape of the US. And so just going to search for that and I had lots of different things come up. So like this particular image came up but it cost 99 cents. This one was available through Cricut Access right here, but unfortunately it wasn't exactly what I was looking for because it had the stripes on it. And I didn't really want stripes, I wanted just a solid shape of the US. So I'm going to go ahead and add that though because I can turn this into what I'm looking for. Over here on the right side you can see all of the different layers that are part of this design. And you can see this red one right here, the pinkish red color, is just a solid shape of the US. So what I need to do is get rid of this blue layer. And the way to do that is once when this is selected, the shape is selected, I'm going to go up here under layers and it says ungroup. I'm going to click that and that's going to go from one image that's made up of multiple layers to separate layers. And so now what I can do is I can just delete this blue layer and now I have the shape that I wanted. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger just to make it easier to work on then I can readjust the size as I go. So now that I have my base image I just need to add some text. So I'm going to go in here. I can select the font that I want. The font that I used for this particular design was one called Love Affair. And it is one that is also available as part of Cricut Access. So if you have Cricut Access, you have this font. And I'm going to type out the word sweet. And then I'm going to add some more text. And I'm going to do land of on the next line. Oops. And put that up here. And then the last line will say liberty. Let's move the text there. And then I can just play around with the text, adjust the sizes until it looks the layout is what I want. I kind of made Sweet and Liberty a little bit bigger and Land of a little bit smaller. So that looks pretty good. Now the problem that I have here is I want the words to be cut out of the shape. Right now what they are is they're another layer on top of the shape. But that's not what I'm looking for so I need to use my slice tool. The problem with the slice tool is you'll notice if you select everything here, it's grayed out. You can't use it. That's because you can only slice two things at a time. And I actually have one layer that's the US, one layer that's sweet, one land of, and one liberty. So I have a total of four layers here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide a couple of those. If I hide that one and that one, and then I can select both the US shape and sweet. And now 
my slice tool down here in the right corner is available to be used. So I can go ahead and hit slice. And what that's going to do is cut that word out. There's the original, the cutout layer, and that's what I was looking for. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete these extra layers. And then I'm going to unhide one of the words. It's right now just, I just, in order to be able to see it, need to push this back because it's right there. So then I'm going to do the same thing with this word. Just delete these extra layers. And with the last word, slice that one. And now I have what I was looking for, which is the US shape with the words cut out of it. And then kind of looking at it, I felt like I had some open spaces over here and over here, and I thought maybe I'll add just a couple of stars to it. So I just took the basic star shape, shrunk it down a little bit, and stuck a couple of them on each side. And I just did the same thing, just used the slice tool to remove them. Because I can only cut one thing at a time, I just added them one at a time until I had a number that I liked the look of. I tried to kind of change the sizes so they weren't all the same size. Just remove those ones. And then I'll add a few more over here until I just kind of get to where I like the look of what I have. That's a little bit bigger space, so I'm going to make that one a little bit bigger. Cut it out. I think on my original one, I went with three stars over on that side. Just because I had a little bit more room over there. So I'm going to cut these ones out. And then one more. Right here. I think I'm going to make, oh, whoops. I don't know what happened there. Um, make that one just a little bit smaller just to give a little bit more interest there. And that's it. I have my design. And now I can change the size or whatever I want to do for whatever, depending on the project that I'm planning on using it on. I originally made it to make t-shirts for my girls for the 4th of July. It could be used on a sign. It could be used wherever you could think of to put it. So really the great thing about Cricut Design Space is you can play around with things, you can change things, you can slice through things, you can attach things. Um, these tools down here, slice, weld, and attach, are really great for this type of thing when you want to change things up a little bit. Um, I didn't use weld, but that's another one that comes in handy if you're ever wanting to attach something somewhere. You can like maybe I decide I don't want that star there. I could just select this and I could hit weld and it just smushes it all into one and that's gone. Or sometimes you may want to put two shapes together to make a new shape. I'm going to undo that because I actually do want that star there. But um, that's another great tool to use. So group and ungroup up here and then slice, weld, and attach down here are great for creating your own unique designs using images, text, and shapes that you can find in Design Space. So have fun playing around and creating your own designs.